Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So in a previous video, we saw how to create a test using add HTTP requests where we have added two requests. One is a get request and the other one is a post request and we have successfully executed a load test as well using the uh, HTTP request that we have created. So in this video, we'll see how to create and upload a script. I mean, like I have already created a JMT script. We all know how to create a JMT script. And if you do not have any idea on how to create a JMT script, you can watch my videos on how to create a JMT script, do parameterization, correlation, all these concepts. And if you want to watch my bootcamp, you can really watch my bootcamp as well, uh, which I have taken for like nearly seven hours. And people have really engaged themselves in creating and adding more contents to it. So you just can watch it. If you want to gain more knowledge, you can get to uh, you can uh, observe how different perspective of the same task. How does it work? So just watch it. And uh, if you have any questions, please do comment in the comment section. And now in this video, we're going to see how to upload a script and how to run a load test. So before we move on to this video, this is me, Arthur Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sly YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give a thumbs up. A like if you like the video and share the video with your friends and um, please do consider joining my channel so I, which help me to motivate I me mean, like which help me to create more videos on daily basis I mean, already i'm doing it but still if you click a join it will be more helpful for me and with no further delays let's go to the video so for now uh, we have three options basically one is to add http request and we can upload a script and we can set up ci cd pipeline and Again, uh, this does not only support HTTP. I mean, the JMIT even supports the locust. We will see how to create that in our upcoming videos. And for now, I'll show you how to create a JMIT. I mean, how to upload a script and how to run the test. So here uh, I have my JMIT script ready. And uh, going back to the application. So just to show, I'm going to home and then click on the Azure load testing. Let me come back. Click on the Azure load testing and uh, so let me just refresh it. Yep. And now I have got the little slot test. Clicking on it. And once you click on the little slot test, I'm just closing this one and you can see under the overview, you can see the uh, load test your application infrastructure. And at this, I have the second option, which is upload a script. So create a new performance test by uploading a JMT script and I'm clicking on create. And I'm giving a name, which is going to be JMeter minus load test. The purpose of this test is to run JMeter load test. So we are planning to run multiple load tests and we'll see how like, we'll do a comparison of the results as well. So we can see how does the compare works. And then run test after creation. I'm unchecking it because I want to run it on my own. Um, Time. So I'm just unchecking the run test after creation and I'm not running this in debug mode. In fact, in fact, we'll see how to use this debug mode in our upcoming test. And then moving on to the next. So we have to choose the file. We have to upload the file. And if you see, uh, the test duration is limited to three hours in the East US region. So you cannot run a test. I mean, like this is again. Uh, basic a free tier of uh, Azure load test so I can run now only up to three hours and if you really want to run for a longer time you can create a support ticket like clicking in here and you can create a support ticket you can ask them or you can um, request them to give you more time to run the test I'm coming back to the original screen sorry Jmeter load test and jmeter load tests clicking on next let me upload the file and for that let me see if this i have this file under my c drive inside the bin so training june so let me open it for that So let me go back to my screen here. So 
So let me go back to my screen here and uh, clicking on the directory button here and let's go to the folder bin and uh, let me just check this again it's training june and then the uh, jmx file yep and to upload the jmx i have to click on the upload button this will upload me upload the uh, sorry upload the uh, jmx file to the azure portal and then let me click on next so we do not have anything to pass here so let me click another next and then we have the same setup so i'm going to use just only one instance so in fact the current limit is two for us and the concurrent engines is five in east us region so in case if you want to create more you can raise a ticket and for now i'm just going to use only one engine and it's going to be a public test which is like emulating a real user test and clicking on next so let's add a sla to it so average greater than let me add like 500 milliseconds to this and then i do not have any request name so if so this is something like if you are creating this metric for single http requests you can see for each request but when you are uploading it as a jmeter you can set up the sla for the entire test like which means like for all the transactions so i'm setting up uh, the threshold for 500 seconds for all the transactions it's not like uh, for all the transactions summed up but it's like every for every individual transaction it should not go beyond 500 milliseconds and then auto stop test i have enabled it and then if the error percentage is more than 90 yep it will stop automatically and then the time window is 60 seconds i am clicking on next now and for monitoring i do not have any resources to monitor so let me go back to the next screen and here just to brief you before i start the test so i have configured a jmeter test a jmeter load test and the test tool is going to be jmeter and the debug mode is disabled the test method is jmx and the test plan that jmx is the file i'm using for this test and everything is ready and i'm creating this to run the test yep the test script file is successfully uploaded and uh, the validation of the test script is in progress let's wait for a few more seconds to get this completed uh, successfully yep the test has completed successfully and yep it's still validating but yep uh you can see here the jmeter load test has been successfully created the test type is going to be jmx and the previous one which we executed in our previous test is going to be a url now now let's open the jmeter load test so here we have got the jmeter load test and let's now start the execution of this test and the run description is going to be round one and it's not in debug mode so let me start the test so while i was trying to run the test i was getting the error so what did i do is um i clicked on configure i opened the test and then under the test you could see there is a red symbol a red cross in the test plan and when i checked it it shows that the uploaded test script is invalid please remove it and upload a valid script and when i click on the view details it's showing that the test script is invalid because of file path not allowed in test plan csv data set config so what i'll do is let me just go back to my jmeter and here i have a csv data set config so what i have to do is um i'll have to first uh, edit my file so i have to make some changes in the file so, uh, before we make the changes in the azure devops we have to go to the uh, test and then in the csv dataset config we have to remove any path reference because it has to be inside the same location so i'm removing all the uh, path references and then i'm copying this location uh, sorry these variable names and then uh, I'm going to change the uh, ignore first line to false since azure load testing does not preserve the header row when splitting our csv file so i'm going to adjust image size from true i have changed it to false 
and then the same time what i will do is let me open the uh, file and then i'll do a quick edit in that file so i have my file here and then i'll go to the folder let me open the csv file and then i'll remove the top three elements so just i am going to have the uh the test data that's it nothing else so what did i do so far is i have just uh, remove the path reference. I've changed the ignore first line to false. I've copied uh, these elements. And then now, since we have made these changes, so now we have to upload these files again and then we have to run the test. So let me open the uh, DevOps. Yep. And uh, let me delete the JMX file. Let me remove it. And then what I'll do is let me upload both the files at the same time. Yep and yeah i have the files now and then yeah we still we still have few more uh, things to do i'll tell you one by one so in the input.csv so now <clears throat> after adding the csv file the uh, load test is successful i mean like adding the script is successful now uh, so now i'll start the execution of this test so it's going to be jmeter load test by zero two and i'll start executing this test and then let's wait until the test gets completed and then i'll take you through the results and the metrics yep so now our test has completed and i have selected the transactions starting from one to ten and then um i have selected my percentile the, that's the response times the 90th 95th and the 99th and in case if i want to add my per average i can even choose that as well so that i can see the response times here and you can see i have got the response times so the average response times the 90th percentile and the 95th percentile for all for all the transactions and then uh, i have the time range so in case if i want to get uh the time range of like for for the last six hours or something i can even collect that but for now uh since i have tested only uh like for the last one hour maybe i can just choose last hour and that will give me the time or if you can give the exact time so that will give me the uh test results and then even i can um group the results in terms of like how much seconds i have okay let me just change it to custom and uh, the test duration is between uh, 1641 which is 441 yep and i think i've almost got the results and then i can group okay i think it has to be a little bit more okay let me go back a few more seconds then here should be like 40 five yep uh, i have almost got the results yep so we can see uh, the requests per second and then we can see the response time so we can see all of these uh, metrics and then some more things which i want to tell you so we can see the total request the duration is just two minutes of test and then the response times which is basically the 90th percentile time and there are percentage so there are like no errors and then the throughput so apart from this there is one more uh, component which i can show you which is the compare so here i have got two tests the first test i have executed at uh, around uh, 432 and the other one at 441 and both have the same duration and almost the same visual uses so let's do a quick comparison and see the change so this will actually help you to understand how does uh, these work like uh, the response time the change in response times or uh, the change in request per second so initially you'll get uh, a very basic thing and then you have to go back and then you have to choose the elements like you can choose the metrics here and then you can see the comparison of the results you can see the response times you can see the average like uh, request per second and then if there are any errors also you can see that so this is another way of uh, viewing the test results and also you can get the, I can download the results so that you can uh, create your reports. 
and uh, yep so yeah you can see the response time so you can see the requests uh, per second for each of these transactions uh, for comparison so yeah with that i come to an end of this video so in our next video we will see how like what is this debug thing um, and how to use that debug part in azure load test so until then it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and if you're a little slow YouTube channel bye bye